Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is HP EliteBook 820. And this machine is completely blank. There is no system. So today in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install Windows 10 in UEFI environment from this bootable Windows 10 thumb drive. Make sure to do that. You do have the correct bootable Windows 10 thumb drive in UEFI format. If you don't know how to create one, you can check it how to create the video link would be in the description. Once you have that, it's pretty simple. Make sure you connect into the USB port. And now we're going to get into the BIOS to change the correct settings for UEFI because the UEFI and legacy, both of them has individual correct settings. So press and hold the power button, turn it off, and then turn it back on. Keep pressing F nine so if you press f9 you're going to get the temporary boot option so let's say without changing the settings i'm going to hit enter from the usb to see if it turns on so let's say if you don't see anything uh, coming out correctly that's mean we don't have the correct settings into the bios and that's the reason the screen stays blank like that okay I did wait for a minute, nothing did happen, so I realized my boot settings is not correct. So if it does happen similar to that, don't worry. Again, we need to press it down, the power button to turn it off, and then we're gonna get into the BIOS by pressing F10 and we'll change the setting. So let's do that. Press and hold. It takes few seconds, make sure it's completely turned off. And then again, we're gonna press the power button as soon as we press the power button, come back to F10, keep pressing until you see the BIOS main screen. Here we go. Now we are in the main page. As you can see, there are a few sections we can see the main security advanced. In the main section, you can uh, find all the information about your computer, I mean the model and the BIOS and how to update the BIOS and everything. Technically, to change the USB boot settings, there is nothing to change in the main section so forget about this main section okay now if you check the next one we can see there is an option called security if you click here then we might able to find the tpm settings and secure boot settings so let's check what is in there all right yes i can see there is an option called tpm which is already enabled, that's all fine. So we don't have to do anything because I don't see any secure boot option here except the TPM settings. So in here, we did not find anything. Now, what are you gonna do? We're gonna leave this one as well. That's all fine, we don't have to change anything. Okay, so let's get into advanced option. All right. From advanced option, I can see there is the boot options and almost everything, you know. So first of all, what are you gonna do? We're gonna get into the boot options by clicking into it. And then from here, we can find almost everything that we need. So let's check it out. This is such a big menu. As you can see on the right hand side, we need to scroll down. Okay, it's all the way top. Now we're gonna go to the bottom to see one by one and find all the necessary setting so as you can see the first of all in advanced section that is called boot mode okay the boot mode currently in legacy we have to choose into uefi so what you can do we can click here and change the necessary one as you can see uefi our usb so Let's go to the bottom section again. On second, yeah, there is the one, boot mode. So we're gonna choose UEFI native, which is without CSM. Okay, accept it. Now I can see the UEFI without CSM is correctly selected. So once it's selected, then to go back, we're gonna press yes button again. And now we can save the settings. Once we save it, 
it's recorded now again keep pressing F9 to get into temporary boot sometimes it takes a little bit of time which is absolutely fine I don't see anything on the screen yeah here we go now external USB hard drive which is the USB self let's hit enter once we hit enter now it's going to load up so if all the settings are correct then it would be absolutely fine so where did we miss and which one we missed in this BIOS the secure boot we did not find secure boot by itself okay okay so when you change only one option which is EFI it fix all other you know steps like secure boot and you know TPM and other services so it seems it's pretty good as you can see it's going now it's uh, pretty much simple you need to accept the terms and condition and depend which way you want to install if you do want a fresh one then you have to follow this procedure I don't have any information in here so uh, I formatted the actual um, SSD uh, I do make sure there is no any data left remember before you format this drive make sure you back up your previous data if you do have anything important and if you don't have any data then you can do it uh, straight away uh, if you want to make any partition you can do that but I'm going to keep only one partition as this one only 240 gig now it's going to copy all the necessary files and folders It's going to go up to 100 percent it takes about 10 to 15 minutes there are a couple of restarts even more and then we just need to choose a uh, few settings how your window should behave you know all about the permissions privacy locations and everything i'm going to keep carry on to this video i'm going to speed up this video just to make it shorter because i did speak a lot already okay this is not that much critical and if you do like this video please don't forget to subscribe and if there is anything please let me know in the comment section either you liked it or not if you don't let me know what I supposed to do in future and I hope I'll see in the next video guys thanks for watching bye for now